one, two. This is very manual, and so it uses a lot of strength. This is done for a couple of minutes to get the initial shell out of the palm fruit before it is cooked and then the process proper begins. The process I mean the production of red oil here at the Setra East Mills in the Ashanti region. Now this is the job of over 30 women who have come together to produce red oil on a small scale. This is going to be the focus of this edition of Food Chain. My name is Prince Apia. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Ama Benewa strikes these stock of palm nut fruits continuously until the fruits are separated from the spikes. Getting the palm nut fruit from its spikes is a difficult task. This activity, Ama and her colleagues here will do for several hours to get all these palm fruits separated. Some of these women have sustained various degrees of injuries as a result of how manual and dangerous it is. But without going through this Herculean task, the rest of the process to extract the oil cannot begin. Next is removing the hacks from the food and that will be done with this manual equipment. It will then be collected and carried to this spot where it will be cooked for hours. This enclave provides employment to a good number of the women in the Asokare and its surrounding communities. Abuajua, one of the leaders, explains the genesis of this work. And my favorite shots, yes, say. Made the park a crack a crack. Make a sedate me to be funny swana. May I just a bet chimu? I actually not my tongue. First, I mean chimu. The Bahayana be a chimu. Maybe I want maybe the Abba have a year, Juma. Yet you feel crack and conquenia. I want you to finish the Bahan, your Baba Yen. The Bayan one of a penny wind to win, I say. Who's here for the almost see your name and then make moons and be jay. Oh, my Juana Chidi. Giant <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Intimate 
Grace Ba is one of the oldest workers here. She is one of those who bring the palm nut fruit from suppliers. So according to the Food and Agriculture Organization, Ghana currently has a total of more than 300,000 hectares of oil palm. And out of this number, 80% of them are produced or cultivated by small-scale farmers. The FAO also estimates that Ghana currently is producing more than 240,000 tons of palm oil. But the country has an unmet demand of 35,000 tons of palm oil. And that is what these women and other small-scale producers are trying very hard to bridge to ensure that the production of red oil, palm oil, gets to the consuming public and meets the demand. After long hours of cooking the fruit, the woman will carry the fruits in turns to the machine where the oil will be squeezed out of it.
Kota, as one of the leaders here, will keep an eye on the red oil produced. More than 50 barrels of red oil are produced every week during the rainy season. But during this period, they struggle with about 30 barrels a week. And so they are currently managing about four or five barrels a day. The work here produces a lot of waste, both liquid and solid. After the waste is conveyed, it is dumped here for these women to go through another separation. And they have a unique way of counting the trips of oil produced, which helps with accountability. At this point, the chaff will also go through another process. Abwajua explains what happens with the waste. When you so kuwa, it's about three days in one. Near the airport, it will be in the room. Near the airport, it will be in the room. Near the airport, it will be in the room. It will be in the kitchen soup. It will be in the cooker drum. It will be soldier. And near the soldier, say be a yeah, yeah. It will be a job warden. In the near the country, yeah, yeah, yeah. Near the good tank and nasty. Near the airport, it just near the sunny. And we gas here. And near the near the testing room. A boy juma pa. Pa, hey. Even after this, there are other liquid wastes that are produced. Osei Kofi Daniel is a pig farmer that has more than 200 pigs close by. He comes here almost every week for the liquid waste which he uses together with other materials to produce feed for his pigs. I use various uh, various types of waste, like uh, uh, the rice bran. That is a waste from the rice industry, and then um, uh, wheat bran from the flour industry, and waste from the various SHS. In the SHS they create a lot of waste, so I also get waste from the SHS, and then I bring all those things together by adding some small antibiotic to control bacterial infections, and then. Use it for the feeding of the pigs. And we, we, so, what are you doing here right now? What kind of waste is this one? Are uh, this from the oil? The oil that they need to produce here. That is the oil, uh, red oil waste. Mm -hmm. So, how are you going to use this one for the feed for your pigs? I mix it with the various um, waste that I mentioned before. Like the uh, the rice bran, the wheat bran. You know, wheat bran is from the flour mills industry, and then the rice bran also from the rice industry. And then the waste from the various SHS. SHS they create a lot of waste. What kind of waste? 
the waste uh, when they feed the students mm -hmm. what come out like the porridge the uh, the rice okay. anything that the, the students eat there are a lot of them that they, they throw away so i gather all those kind of things you know after missing the feed you have a you, you can get a, a bacteria infection bacteria can affect the feed because of the waste that you are using so i have certain antibiotics that i use to control those bacteria and then we give it to the animals when i finish it will not be liquid though. when i finish it tends to something like uh, it will be solid okay. like a uh, gary oh, nice. <laughs> it will tend to gary oh, yeah. <laughs> so you don't see it like this okay. so normally uh, this one is 12 i have 12 here so, so you come here every day no when they call me that it's the the, the items that i put here is full before i come okay so basically like a almost a week weekly did you buy them or no, when you come here you just you give them something something small uh, because it's ways that they are throwing away but they don't know what we use it for uh -huh. they are work it is tedious mm. it's tedious and um, if it is possible government can help them with machines mm. it will be the best because they can also create jobs for a lot of people the production of red oil in this area has impacted the economic fortunes of the women and a lot of households here as <laughs> Despite the benefits, there are challenges as well. I do my way. Put me to my bear one fifth and a hundred million. If you are a bear talk, we no car no man. I may do a bear to move, can you only cut on fifty million and no crown? So when you are a bear, or to have a bocca. Sansa, oh, me, you know, and getting it away, say, be a yammy or do more. No, you are a year. Why you are taught a bear or can't you or quite have a passoir? Or by chip bonus, let's be a bear, and when you are
school <laughs> Am I one who won cremutis hanging in Swanny de Coy? Yanoma and no money and us say, Yabay and us has seen the hotel flat at the same. how I had it, Eson, and Yanko. So say I'm a boca. Ah, I am your higher boca. So we, mammy, dear one. So when Yanny Yaka crab, ya will cheer by boca. So when Yan won a dodo. Aha, think I've been Yanka, dear, and I've been a Yanka and not yet, said Tibia, which in us and Nipa Crona Jaw or the Mau Yea Cacradia, and yet, which I will win you. Says here, dear fifty million. Says here, fifty, and an added Cassie Cane near Obechani, and they can't hold the anarchy at a bedroom and that do sixty. Kia, says I'm new to him, since this is the same as my being away. I am a young Cassa, young, and my name is a brand Cassa. Nay, I am a yard, my million. I do my own for now, I do my own for now, but do my own. I 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 my own. I do my own. I do my Twenty years. It's ever maybe sure, sir. Thirty and thirty five days. You In the wake of the challenges these women endured to produce the red oil, we went to the Department of Agriculture at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to speak to Dr. Eric Asante Amwa, who is an agri engineer, for some solutions. They are losing a lot of production time because they are going to use most of the time in doing maintenance. Because as the machine grows old, there is wear and tear. It means that when you don't expect, the machine will break down. And in so doing, you can incur a lot of loss because Whilst the process is going on, if it breaks down and you cannot get the part to replace it, most of the raw material or the material in the system will go waste. And that is a big loss. When you go to those areas where they produce palm oil, you see that we have multi-stage refinery and then we have single stage, like individual basis, where the process will move from one stage. Human intervention must come in before you move to the next stage. It creates a lot of problems. So they need to go in for modern equipment. But sometimes it's also expensive. Capacity is important here. So what I think they can do is to come together as group so that they will increase their capacity, the, their capacity to repay loans from the banks. And then the banks can support them to get modern equipment. But the ones they have used over so many years, it cannot help. When there is where there are openings, like where you squeeze the oil, the press, when there is wear and tear, the openings increases. Sometimes some of the chaff gets into the, the oil, and therefore the, it affects the quality of the oil. It affects the quality of the oil? Uh, yes. Okay. In terms of the cleanliness. Okay, you need to go through another process to get the chaff out. It means that you need to replace your sieve 
regularly. Uh -huh. It's the sieves that sieves the oil from the chaff mm -hmm. after digestion. So they need to train their operators and then there should be inspection all the time. The frequency of inspection, like it should be weekly and monthly. You don't wait for the thing to happen before you maintain. Otherwise, whilst you are in operation, whilst the equipment is in operation, when it breaks down along the line, whatever that is inside, you will lose it. So no matter how small their contribution may seem, they occupy a very important part of the oil producing industry in the country. In the wake of all the challenges they face, they still use obsolete equipment to try and occupy the gap available in the industry. My name is Prince Apien. Thank you very much for joining us on Food Chain for this week. See you same time next week for another special edition of Food Chain. Bye-bye.